In this video we're going to talk about neat edges with single crochet. Now I need to demonstrate this right from the beginning and I've got a, some stitch markers here um, that I'm going to use for, for the demonstration. I think it's, it's going to make it a lot easier. Okay, I've got a slip knot. Now let's pretend that you only need to make five single crochets for a while. You're making a small band or something. Now the pattern will tell you to chain five, two, three, four, five. And it will say that you should start in the second chain from the hook because this chain will count as a stitch. So I'm going to put a stitch marker into this, this first chain so that we know where to find it when we come back with the next row. Maybe I should put it in the top. Right, let's put it in there. Okay, right. That is the first one. We're going to ignore that one. The pattern will tell you to start in the second chain from the hook and make your row, which is now going to be the next four single crochets. Remember, I do American terminology. Now you're supposed to have five stitches in that row because this little one counts as a stitch, which I don't agree with. Okay, we're going to repeat this now when we turn. You have to chain one to turn, and that chain will now count as the first stitch. So let's put a marker in it. Right, and we're going to start in the second one. So this is our first stitch. We're not going to go in there because this little chain counts for that first one. So we're going to go into the next one. One. And another one, two, and there's the third one. I need to make one more. Can you see? It doesn't look as if it should go in there. It looks disgusting, but let's humor ourselves. Go in there and a chain, make a single crochet. Now look what happens. Immediately, it looks crappy. Let's go back again. Now here I'm now going to show you what I do. I chain one to turn just to get my hook a little bit off the work and I go into the very first stitch for the first single crochet. That chain sitting there counts for absolutely nothing. So let's go into this V. I just want to catch the V of the single crochet that I just made so that we will see it when we come back on the next row. I'm going to take this one out. We don't need that one, or do we? One, two, three, four. Oh, we do. Okay. One, two, three, four. And the fifth one must now go in here where that little stitch holder is. I don't like it one little bit. I think it's the shittiest idea anybody could have come up with. Alrighty, there's five. And again, I chain one to turn and that chain doesn't count for anything. It sits here on the side. I couldn't be bothered with it. Now here's the first stitch. Go into the first stitch. Single crochet. Two three, four, now look at the difference, there's a whole V, you don't have to look for it, it doesn't look as if it's some little loop that fell out here somewhere, it's a proper V that you can work under, it makes the world of difference, look at that, compared to what's down there at the bottom, holes, holes, because you're pulling a chain open to put a stitch in there. It doesn't work. Now, from now on, for any pattern that you get, you will always, with single crochet, chain one just to get your hook away from the, with a little bit of height, away from the work, turn and go into the first stitch. Now, don't get confused. This is your chain. There's the first stitch. So we're going to go into the first stitch. Now look what happens. That little chain pulls flat. You won't see it. 
Let's go through two, three, four, and five. Can you see? There's a little chain that side, and there's a little chain here, but you don't see them. Look. It's much better. There's, you don't have these holy things that happen. It, it, I, can't, I can't do that. I'm sorry. I can't do that. I want to do this because it looks properly done. It's square on the edges. Uh, it's easy to find the last stitch of the row. You can just by looking at this, you can see one, two, three, four, five. The last stitch of the row will be there. You won't have to look for it. It's there. It's plain to see. Okay, so this is single crochet. If you're working in the round, same thing. In the round, you will close your uh, round with a slip stitch, chain one, and make a single crochet in that same stitch. If you're scared and working in the round this could very easily happen is that you you get lost. You will go over your first single crochet so stitch markers mean stitch markers all the way. Put a stitch marker in the first stitch of the row and you will easily find it when you come back with the next row. Put a stitch marker into the first stitch of a round and you will easily see where to end your round. Right, um, if you're starting with this method in a starting chain, so look at the instructions of the pattern. Don't just look at how many chains you should make for the starting chain. Look at how many stitches will be there in the first row. If they say to you there will be 10 single crochets in the first row, you're going to crochet 11 chains. And you're going to start in the second chain from the hook with your first single crochet and you will make 10. That first chain counts for nothing. If after today you replace a single crochet stitch with a chain, it's a sin. Okay? It's a sin. Don't do it. It looks disgusting. 